Well, welcome back to Channel One. Today I'm going to be working on a microwave here. And I know what you're thinking. Why would I spend the time on fixing a microwave when I could just want to run up to Walmart and pick one up for 50 bucks? Uh, and I get a lot of these questions sometimes. Why do I waste my time? And I think it's really important for especially the younger generation to understand a little bit how this stuff works. And uh, what better way to, to learn than to go and take it apart? Even if you cannot fix it, go take it apart and kind of look it all over. Uh, always remember to keep this stuff unplugged, uh, obviously, before you do these things. So that's kind of why I do some of these projects. But on the other hand, you know, if this could help somebody uh, that can't afford a microwave and you can help them, that's another reason to do it as well. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. So what we have here is the door will not shut. I've seen this a number of times. Not sure if I'm going to be able to fix this or not because it's, it's a plastic problem, I'm guessing. So what's happening is there's a spring that actually holds this latch down and uh, it's obviously fallen off or broken off inside. So what we need to do is we're going to need to open up this face here and find out what the problem is. So let's go ahead and start that right now. Alright, so the best way to probably handle this is lay the microwave up on its side so we can kind of get to the door. And then take a flat-headed screwdriver, because there's no screws or anything like that on here to, to remove. Um, we're going to try to pop this face here off. Alright, so let's go ahead and very carefully, you want to reach inside there, the screwdriver. And if you've ever been taking a screen off a laptop, it kind of works the same way if there's no screws. This is really, really old plastic, so don't be surprised if you do damage it. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get in there and pop this off. And so far, it appears as though I'm going to be able to do that. Now, if you're scared to get dirty, don't attempt this because uh, I'm feeling some like grease and grime on my fingers. <laughs> all right, so that's all it does. It just kind of snaps in there. Those little clips right there. All right, so let's go ahead and set that off to the side. And then we can kind of see right there. We can see that there was a spring. Now why I don't see the spring? Maybe it's just inside there somewhere. I hear it in there. So there's a spring in there somewhere uh, that we're going to need to get out of there. So now we need to figure out how to do that. And I can see another clip right here that will allow us to do that. So let's see if we can pull that out of there. A lot of times this stuff is designed not to come apart. Okay, I think I might have got it. Pretty good there. All right, I'm going to lay this up now because it looks like I'm going to have to. There we go. All right. Okay, so there's the face, and I just saw it fall out here. There it is, the spring. And I also found the little piece here that had broken off the latch itself. So there's the spring, and then there's the little piece that has busted off this latch. So, next question is, can we fix this? Uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to find parts for this because, again, it would not be worth to go buy parts for this, but it's definitely worth fixing. So, all right, I'm going to lay this back up. And let's see if we can get a visual on how this is supposed to set in there. So, it goes like that. And then this spring looks like it came up and it attached right there. So that's 
what we need to do is we need to figure out how to get this back on here. And I think the easiest thing to do is to drill a small hole in this unit right here and put that spring back in. So let's go ahead and recap on what we're trying to do. What we're going to do is we're going to put this here where it needs to go and this clips on right here and we need to stretch this spring and drill a new hole right in this area right here. Now the old clip was a little bit further down so that means that the spring is going to be a little tighter so what I may do is actually pull the spring out a little bit just to stretch it just a little bit just enough so it's not too too tight okay that did, that did stretch it a little bit so we'll try that so now what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to drill a hole in this thin plastic So now, to put that on there, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hook it on that door. And I'm just going to pull that up, just like that. And there it is, just like that. Not sure how much uh, that's going to be able to handle, but I think I stretched that spring enough to, uh, to allow for enough play in there. So, all right, let's go ahead and put this thing back together. It's in there like that. And this is, should go together much easier than it did coming apart. So I think I'm going to start by setting it in like this. Small damage right there. Okay. That's all back in. Let's check our spring. Perfect. Now I had one little piece right here break off, so I can take some super glue and uh, I can glue that back on. You know, I'm surprised we didn't break even more. <laughs> all right. Okay. Now we'll put this piece here back on. Again, this just snaps on. Okay. Now for the test. Oh yeah. Just like that. Okay, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. Uh, this little piece that I had broken, uh, I'm going to go ahead and super glue that in there. So now this does make it difficult next time you take this apart because the super glue may attach that front piece on with the face. Uh, but you know, just kind of deal with it. Let's go ahead and take the broken piece there. Kind of slide that in. Like that. Yeah, just like new. Okay, well there it is. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, just to make sure it works. Because the door has to be closed in order for the microwave to work, and obviously uh, the microwave is working, so mm, there we go. All right. That was an easy fix. So uh, I hope this helps you with your microwave problem. This is one of very many <laughs> problems it could be. It could have been internally, but we were lucky to uh, uh, find that it was the spring itself. And this is a very common problem for this type of microwave using that spring. So you saw how I just drew a little hole and re restretched the spring a little bit, and we're good to go. So again, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.